Hey, Magic fans, back again for box number five. It's another beautiful day for a box opening. And well, let's hope we do a little better than last time. I gotta say, if I just kinda give a little bit of a spoiler, on average, we are doing better than we did with the last set of boxes. Not gonna lie about that. However, we are still not having things go well. Uh, so before I get started, guys, this is your captain speaking. Tray tables and seat backs in full upright position at all times. And remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Put some comments down below to help feed the actual YouTube algorithm so the channel can get some views. Appreciate the support and appreciate the chance to get to open these boxes for you. Also, in the description below, you're going to notice a link to the eBay store where you can get all these cards packed fresh straight to you. And it's another great way to support the channel and the box openings to keep it going so you can find out whether or not you should be opening packs or buying singles. So, again, this is the ancillary slot for the commander cards. Yes, this is a mythic. However, the drawback to this is these mythics are awful and not worth anything. So I'd rather have the mythics from the set. So there's the drawback there on that. Um, and I'll put that, well, I guess we'll put it right there. So primary adversary. Uh, so our first mythic, the box, that's pretty sweet. Uh, adversaries are pretty good mythics. They are worth a little bit. Um, all right, Grimoire of the Dead, rare from Old Innistrad. That is a nice, nice hit from the list. I don't know how much it's worth, but let's hope it's worth something. So these box values are not very good if you've been watching my videos. If you haven't, go back and take a view uh, at most of them. They're all pretty box value wise, not that hot. Um, we did have one great one. I don't want to spoil it for you, so we'll take a look at that. Also, one time per video, these lands are great. They're some of the most expensive rares in this set, around $5 and up. And they are some of the best things that you can get as far as the rare slot goes. Other than that, in the Mythic slot, you really need a Bloodhook Massacre. Or, sorry, I'm gonna, uh, nice, Foil Forest. Uh, or you'll need a Renin 7 to really get your box value up above 100 bucks. Like, that just seems to be the norm here. All right, Unnatural Growth, that's also a good card. It's good money rare. Full Candle Grow Witch, it's very pretty. All right. So uncommons. All right, foil Ludwig, or rare Ludwig, my bad. Foil rush, and we have a reality shift. Oops, wrong spot. Not the greatest. All right. Okay, there's a Ludwig Alternate Art, not the greatest, it's not worth a whole lot. Uh, we have a Sludge Monster, again, not worth a whole lot. So we are almost a third of the way through the box. We haven't hit a whole lot, just one real Mythic worth some value. All right, Siphon Insight. Foil, and we have Rip Rolled by the token. I think we're getting a list card, and we don't. Common, it's common. All right, Sun Gold Sentinel, not the best rare. So one third through the box, we have a mythic, unless you count the ancillary slot. Uh, so I'll put my two cents in again while we're going through this. Uh, I thought it would be nice to have commander only cards in the set boosters to make them worth some money, but as it turns out, it makes them worth nothing. So 
I honestly would rather have these be real mythics in the set and have this have never happened. Personal opinion. Decent rare, eh, eh, eaten alive, nothing. Because I really think that's the problem with the set and what's really driving the price down. All right, Commander Rare, unfortunately. See, I'd rather this be any other ancillary card other than this. All right, Mythic number two, Sigarda. Not worth a lot, but it is a Mythic. Need as many of those as we can get. Somebody's a little obsessive. Still looking for a Ring and Seven or a Mythic Massacre to really make this stuff worth value. Whoop, whoop, that's a foil. Get out of there. Get back over here. All right, Commons. Bunch of uncommons, a common. Hot. Ah. Trespasser. This and this. Alright. Still nothing too special popping off yet. Not really impressed here. Commons. Uh, pit Fighter. So we have a Burly Breaker, alternate art foil. It is very pretty. Not gonna lie, those alternate arts are very nice in the foil. They look way better than the regular cards do. I'm not gonna lie. Chamber of the Parish, decent rare with a couple bucks. Again, another mythic worth nothing that I'd rather had been a mythic from the set. Regular rare. So we have a foil rare. Uh, this thing, which isn't really worth anything. So angel file and uh, ignition. Not the kind of rare we're looking for to get in foil. Not a lot of value there. So that's a swing and a miss. Burn down the house. Secrets of the key. Good draft card, about it. Nice foil swamp. Love the foil lands in this stuff. Rokka Stormbreaker, probably one of the best rares in the set to be playable, however not worth anything. For those of you who are curious out there. So, just going through this real quick. Like I said, there's really just some main things we're looking to hit here. And if we don't hit those, we're pretty much SOL. So Memory Deluge has actually come up in price. Uh, it's actually at four bucks, so it's a decent hit for a rare. Now, uh, Venerate Teacher is nothing. And those big hits really are just the Planeswalkers. You know, Reading 7 is like 40 bucks. Me Hook Massacre is like 40 bucks. The Regent's a couple of uh, $10 or so. Uh, Arland. Those are the ones that's really going to make the box worth wild if we can manage to hit one. Ugh. Nothing really good there. Undead Slayer from M10. Hmm. On flavor. Not worth wild though. Probably not worth anything. Brutal Cathar. Ugh. Awful rare. Right of Oblivion. That would probably be a really good card if it wasn't for sacrificing any non land permanent. Who knows, maybe it'll find its way. Oh, there we go. There's something nice finally. Uh, we have a signed Teferi art card that is pretty sweet. Still, I'd rather have an actual card Teferi from the set. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, I guess, especially when you're trying to get anything you can. 
Uh, Google Cloud Harvest. I'm gonna flip the switch. Alright, last third of the box, guys. It's looking really bad. We've got four Mythics, only two of them from the set, which I think is just awful. Alright, we have an alternate art. Astral Archmage is a rare. Crafted Identity. Well, that was just terrible. So we had one good box so far. It looks like we got one box left in this case before we do an EV video, which is the estimated value. And it's not looking good, guys. I'm not going to lie. Ah, <sighs> It's a mythic. Unfortunately, it's a bad one. So that's really not worth anything. But whatever. Golem's Heart. Whenever you cast an artifact, gain a life. I don't think that's worth anything, but we can always hope. Visions of Dread, it's terrible. Pithy Needle, plenty of those. Florian, Foil Mentor, and the Token. Secrets, that's always nice. Ugh. Curse of the Forsaken Faith, not a good rare. Foil Splendor rare. There we go. Ancient Tomb. Very nice. With only five, looks like five packs left, that may very well just save the whole box value. Just saying. Common, common. Alright, there's four or five bucks in that one. Commons, uncommons. More commons, more uncommons. Ugh, God. It's a rare, it's a mythic, but it's not worth anything. All right, so I got an egg for a rare. Three packs left with three mythics from the set. That is just horrific. I really do not like how they did the mythics in this set, guys. Splendor rare. Common. Florian Alternate Art Rare. There's a Mythic. Unfortunately, it's not a good one, but at this point, we'll take what we can get since we apparently can't get more than. You know, we should be getting one Mythic every four packs. There's 30 packs, so, you know, we should be seeing around eight to nine Mythics. And there is seven there with this being our last pack, but with three of them not being from the set and there not being any freaking value, it just makes the boxes not worth money. So, it's just awful, guys. And no mythic in the close. Oh, there's a mythic. Dragon Load to Mocha. So this and the Ancient Tomb maybe the only thing that saves this box from being a complete freaking disaster. Um, with this said, guys, you know, I'm just going to call it now. Even though there might be, there's box value in this one. 
I am not going to be able to open 18 boxes and have a complete set of cards because I'm going to be missing Mythics because I'm only getting four Mythics per box, which is dumb. You know, four Mythics from the set. So, like I've always told you guys before, man, buy singles, especially for this set. Some of the other sets, it's not too bad. You can break even. This set, buy singles. This stuff is not worth dropping money on boxes for. So, until next time, remember to be kind. And this is your captain speaking. And let's hope the next one's we get some mythics from here because this is not always going to save us on the list.